Boom, it's Wednesday, another episode of Swipe Up, where I share some of my favorite posts from the past week from Instagram. Uh, and this week, as I do many times, I'm throwing in some inspiration, talking about some people that inspire me, starting off the great and powerful J.R. Steiner. This is a sexy, sexy man doing a sexy yoga pose. Uh, he is somebody that... Uh, He's an artist, and he runs a company called JR Customs, which is a printing company. So he prints T-shirts and posters and anything you need, business cards, uh, which I've you, I've gone through him to print my Diseasy shirts and the Conspiracy Disorder shirts. Uh, he's a great dude, um, and I, you know I've met him. Uh, he's been on my old podcast, the Inspired Disorder podcast, a few times. I've met him in person a few times. Uh, he's just a good person. But he moved from San San Diego. He moved from New York to Arizona. Started his own T-shirt company and uh, has been growing over the past few years. I've you know when I first he first came on my radar. He was doing the merchandise for the podcast, The Naughty Show, with uh, Sam Tripoli and Vicky Pezza, Gareth Reynolds, all great people that I've had on past shows. And he did their merch. And I was looking for somebody to do t-shirts for myself. I wanted to do uh, the Diseasy shirts. And I contacted him, did a podcast with him, and then you know gave him a bunch of money uh, over the past few years. But not a bunch of money, a little bit of money. Um, but yeah, just super. And now he does he does uh, yoga. I think for the past few years, he's been doing yoga at his house and other things. He's very involved in the community out in Arizona. Uh, he's definitely, he's somebody that's, he's changed his life in a lot of ways. Like when he moved from, he used to be an overweight, out of shape guy, very s unlike myself, you know, who's a uh, picturesque example of human kind in all of its form and glory uh but yeah he's been eating well he looking great he's lost a lot of weight um and uh you know i i guess i've always known him to be slim but he posts pictures of when he used to be overweight and uh anyway um i don't know why i'm going so in depth on jr but shout out to jr and of course, it's it's not a Wednesday without without some Gary V. So let's get into some Gary V right now. I'm a huge fan. Thank you, brother. I Howdy. love entrepreneurship. Thank you. What advice do you have for like a twelve year old who wants to go into business? Start a business. Yes. That is the answer. Self awareness is the game. You need to make sure that you're an actual entrepreneur. Because at this age, a lot of the entrepreneurs I know, they're selling something. They're not overthinking it. Maybe you're just a brilliant executive. You need to be very thoughtful that you're not putting entrepreneurship on a pedestal. Like, do you really want to build a business? Do you want to sell stuff? Do you, they, like, you get excited about that? Well, then you need to start doing it, man. Yes, I completely agree. Do you understand? Yeah, I do. Don't put it on a pedestal that it's cool. I like Shark Tank, I like Gary Vee. Don't think that's cool. You need to listen to what you really want to do. There's no, I don't know what I want to sell. There should be, there's too many things I want to do. Do you understand? Yeah. And you need to figure that part out. Thank you so much. You got it. I'm a rapper and a business owner. I come to events like Co Complex Con. I come to network because I push myself and create partnerships. Do you think I'm going at it the wrong way? You are definitely not going about it the wrong way. <laughs> the number one thing you have is time. You have something in here that all of us envy, which is an extra 30 years, an extra 20 years, an extra 15 years. Do you understand? Yeah. If you promise me this, it will help you so much. If you just make the songs that are in your heart, if you just make the content you want, if I could get you to just never look at how many followers you have for the next 10 years, you will win. It's gonna be hard. All your friends are gonna ask how many. <laughs> you know, Everybody here cares how many and they're grown. But if you can get to that place where you don't care about that one thing, it will help you so much you could never imagine. Okay. 
fucking dad's asshole. Okay. It's financial. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like all the yeah. Over us. Yep. What can I do? I'm on sale. You, you've got to break out of that pattern. You got to not listen to him and make money. Online like fourteen hundred shit. Life is long. It sucks shit right now. It, when you're fourteen, it feels like it's your life forever. It's not your life forever, bro. You understand? Surround yourself with as much positivity to get you through this shit chapter. I just can't fucking do that shit. I have no fucking friends. I get it, bro. Bro, you gotta be patient. I bro. can't take this shit. I get it, but you have to understand there's no alternative. There's only two choices here. You stay under that roof and eat shit for four more years or you bounce now. Plenty of fucking people bounce at 14. If you're gonna fucking eat shit under that roof, you need to put your fucking ear pods in and listen to positivity 24 seven to get you through that shit, do you understand? When your surroundings are shit, your insides gotta be positive. The fact that you're even here means you're fucking halfway home. I've been working on a startup myself. I've always noticed that there's sort of like, you're a bit too young to do this. Yes. How do you get past the stereotypes or limitations? Do you agree with them? Great, do you give a shit of what people think? Occasionally. Right. I respect that. You're 12, right? When I was 12, I occasionally cared what people thought too. That shit goes away real quick. Like what? Your teacher or your Uncle Rick fucking thinks that you should, you're too early? Like, it's just not gonna matter at the end, Hillary. Here's what's gonna happen. Either you're right or they're right. That's what's gonna happen at the end. Spending any time debating who's cheering for what outcome or what point of view is a complete waste of your energy. I just turned 13, doing YouTube for about two years. Yeah. I'm at 142 right now, so I'm wondering like, what's one tip you have for kids my age? What I don't want you to do that so many people do, whether they're 13 or 81, so many people get into the rat race of how many followers they have, that's gonna dictate too many actions. You can't let your self-esteem or self-worth be wrapped up into metrics on YouTube because it's one tiny proxy in the reality of what you're up to. You understand? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Gary B, man. As far as one of the most inspirational people in my life, as far as listening to his advice and reading his books, so good. Um, Let's check out this awesome wave here, this awesome surfer pulling in to just the longest, most epic barrel. Just amazing. I've surfed in the past as a young child, but only on long boards and never on waves this big. That's just amazing. So clean. Um, yeah. Such, such great stuff. All right, so I'm going to finish it off with, uh, no, I'm not finishing it off, but let's move on to some, some good humor with uh, some Mitch Hedberg. I went, to a, I went to a pizzeria. I ordered a slice of pizza. The dude gave me the smallest slice possible. If the pizza was a pie chart for what people would do if they found a million dollars, this dude gave me the donate to charity slice. <laughs> I would like to exchange this for the keep it. I went to a... All right, so finish off with these amazing miniatures uh, by Tanaka Tatsuya while I do my shout-outs here. Shout-out to J.R. Steiner, J.R. Custom. Shout-out to Gary V. Shout-out to Clark Little. Shout-out to All Things Comedy and Mitch Hedberg. Shout-out to Tanaka underscore Tatsuya. And shout-out to Street Art Globe. Um, another great... Another great week of uh, Instagram posts and swipe up. New episodes of this show come out every day. Subscribe to the show everywhere podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder for members only. Inspireddisorder.com for all of my artwork. And for through the holidays, you can save 50% by using coupon code THANKS18. That's the number 18 uh, on anything you purchase, T-shirts, artwork, all that stuff. I'm at Ray Taylor on all social media. Have a great day, everybody. Peace out.